Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Now we are going to try with the form validation using JavaScript. So this is just a basic form which has been imported using a uh, Microsoft Word. So I have downloaded it online and I just imported it and added these fields. So let's get started. Let's add few validations to the email address date of birth and age and phone number probably and here's a signature this is just a simple form and it has a reset form once I click on the reset form button it should reset all the fields values if I hit the print button it should take me to the print screen so this is how it it is and let's get started First, it's a name field. I don't think we need to add anything for it. Next is a grade. Grade can be 1 to 10. Let me go to properties and add a validation. I'm going to put it as a number. Separate style 1 to 10. Yeah, that's fine. So let us put as 1 to 10. And this one, address can be a text or an integer, so we don't have to worry about it. And this is a text email field actually. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a validation JavaScript validation to it. I'm gonna go and add a custom script. So, the, I already written the script because because we don't have to waste time in uh, writing the script so I'll explain the script this is a regular expression script we are going to store it in an email variable and we have a condition over here if event value is not equal to empty then we're gonna validate with this email it has an email dot test with an event dot value event dot value is nothing but your form field dot value It will return false, else it will throw an error. It is not a valid address. Let me copy it. I'm gonna post this script over here and click OK. Close. So he has a parent name, so we're not gonna worry about it. So date of birth, this also has a validation. It has a format of date, month, day, year. Let me keep it as D and Y. Okay, and age can be 1 to 100. I'm gonna go with options, format, yeah. Format number, same place is 2, right? 1 to 100. That's done, and this is a drop down, and phone number can have validation. Let us put as a let's see what's in custom special okay let's put it as a phone number okay health concern is a text field okay that is run let us go with the preview So see your validation must be greater than or equal to 10. Okay, let's go back and edit. So reset form, we're gonna add another functionality to it. So we're gonna go with an action. This is actually a button. So we have to choose a reset form action. So once we choose it, we're gonna choose all the fields. So it will automatically retrieve all the fields over here. You can select anything you want. So I'm gonna choose, okay, okay, everything is fine. I think we need everything. Okay, close. Then for the print. Okay, let's print a form. Mm actually have to select something else 
mouse up uh, execute to a menu item so in the menu item you have a print option so we are going to choose it print where is the print option print print the print images where the hell is the menu where did I miss it yeah file print okay we have added it and close so i think everything is done let's check once let me go with the name i'm gonna say 100 so it's throwing an error so let me put one a b c d so let us check the email validation so what I'm gonna put Joshi. So it says email is not valid. Okay, I think that went well. Okay, date of birth. I'm gonna choose something. Mail, yeah. So phone number five six seven eight nine ten. Is it going to throw error? No, it actually added the extension to. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna add 10. Health, oh, this is actually taking some float value. We're not gonna worry about it. Health concerns, none. So, so in order to sign it, we have to configure a digital ID. I think I have not done it. So I'm not gonna do it over there. Okay, now I'm gonna hit reset form. Ta-da! Everything got reset. So if I'm gonna hit print, since I don't have a printer connected with me, so it actually will give me an error. So let's go back to the form and see what we did. So for the print, we actually added a function, file print and for the reset form we actually added another function over here action reset a form so it will reset all the fields and for the grade for the email validation we actually added something like a javascript code it's a vanilla javascript code but in acrobat you actually not use most of the functions but this is just a top over so I'll place the video and I'll place the code in description. You can use it and I'll even paste this form in my description. You can try. Okay, I think that's it. This is how you add a validation to a form and a button. So this is just a simple button. So you can just click over here, drag over here and you can do whatever you want. You can add colors. To add a label, you need to choose over here. So when I hit preview, you get this label with the functionality. So there's a lot more to do with this form stuff. And you can do a lot of fu functionalities. So there's a lot of functionality. You can play a sound, play media, read an article. You can do a lot of things if you want. But 